Hiya guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kitty Loves LV here. So tonight I want to show you a very extravagant purchase for me that I don't know what um, made me do it. I think it was because limited edition uh, could be one of the last ones you see. Collector's item, I don't know. Uh, I love it, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But before we get started, I just wanted to follow up on my last um, video about the Dior Lip Glow, which I showed you in this gorgeous packaging. I have been using this alongside, I know it's ridiculous, I keep this still in my makeup bag in the box because I just love this lovely little tin of the Gucci Nourishing Balm and I just don't want any scrapes or anything happening to it but between the two I have to say by far the I was gonna say I thought I was gonna say the wrong thing there but I was right the Lip Glow Color Reviving Balm does win the war against the Gucci Nourishing Balm I'm so sorry it is lovely packaging and all the freebies were fantastic as you saw that this just came in a Boots standard delivery that I got with a few shower gels and a soap. And I saved about eight pounds, I think, by buying it from Boots. And I didn't need another dust bag and another two free samples. I was happy enough. Uh, this was, um, I was going to say cheaper, but I've just told you that. <laughs> um, uh, sorry, the size comparison, though, for what you're getting is considerably different. So... The, uh, this is in the rosewood. I've got actually got it on my lips now. This just stays so hydrating for so much longer. And I like that it's a natural tint. Um, there's a nice color to, natural uh, color to your lips. And it's a balm. So you can just put it on without worrying. It's not like putting on a lipstick. I love the packaging. Now I do have to say, I gave you the wrong information in the last one because I actually did try this. Um, oh, my bag's downstairs. Sorry, I, I do apologise. But uh, I was going to show you the uh, Dior Standard Black lip Lipstick Case. This does not fit into the Addict Refill cases. The, it, it's too small. This one's uh, smaller. That's why it comes in its own unique uh, pink packaging. So don't buy this and think that this will fit into those exclusive Dior cases or the black standard uh, addict refill cases because it doesn't. It's a slightly smaller. So I do apologize. I didn't know until I went to put it into, uh, I think it was my white uh, canvas case. And I was like, oh, it doesn't fit. It just went by halfway. And I was like, uh oh, I've given everyone the wrong impression so I only discovered it myself it just because it looks exactly the same you would think it, it would fit but apparently it doesn't that's why you can't get the refills in the lip balm it does come with this packaging which I think is quite wasteful I hate that but anyway so but you have to take into consideration that this is a lot smaller than the Gucci nourishing balm you get 3.2 grams in this compared to the Gucci Nourishing Balm where you get 8 grams. So uh, nearly just shy of three times the size of what you get in this. But this is so hydrating. I, I mean, I will give credit where credit is due. This is kind of like a little test for me with luxury beauty products. I kind of wanted to do this kind of little haul so I could see what would work. Would I rebuy this? No. No, I wouldn't. Um, it's not nourishing enough. I actually, I actually found when I was using it that my at the start that my lips felt drier. I know that sounds crazy, but it, it did feel like that. Now my lips do feel more moisturized, but not for very long. Compared to this, when I put it on, this is flooding my lips with moisture. It's so good and I love it. So over the two, I know that there's a considerable size difference. Um, and I know that, you know, gram for gram this is more expensive than this but I would definitely go with the lip glow if you're looking for hydration the only thing you can get a clear in this I was just going to say because it can't get confusing with the shades but I just went with this because I saw swatches online or people wearing it online so I went with a natural mauve nude color which I am really boring <laughs> with but 
I love it and I would definitely reconsider buying this again but the uh, Gucci Nourishing Balm no I wouldn't rebuy but I'm keeping that tin for when it's finished I think Minx for All was saying you can put some headache medication in it you can use it again for something else and I'll definitely the tin is so beautiful that I don't want to take it out of the box that's why the box is so uh I was going to, I'm going to use the Northern Ireland term here, knackered, which means it's been, you know, thrown about. And I am using it in my new makeup bag. And it's not designer, don't get excited, but I think it's so cool. I am a metal fan, I'm a rock and roll fan. And this is an Aussie Osborne makeup bag. Uh, in a collaboration with Revolution Beauty and I saw this on their website they were having a fantastic 20% off everything sale in, uh, back uh, a couple of weeks ago before Easter uh, unfortunately it's over now but I think this may, may still be on sale it was 20 down to 10 I think it's so cool it's this beautiful black velvet you can see the Aussie logo there it's very bright because I've got the ring light on but it's very very understated in the natural light you've got the two bats uh, it's like a vanity case but wh when I ordered it I thought it was going to be massive and I thought when am I going to use this I, I was suckered in by again how it looked rather than the practicality but it is so it's so good like it's it's the width is perfect for a big bag so I use this in my eBay Dior tote that I eBoard sorry eBoard <laughs> eBay Dior style tote that I showed you in my last video today and it did not stretch it out it was fantastic i love this and i can fit so much more into it including all the uh recent things i bought from revolution uh the lip oil that i bought the cherry lip oil that um turned my lips that barbie pink in a couple of videos ago i was showing you I then rebought in the clear oil and this is fantastic. This is only five pounds, guys. This is the glaze lip oil with cherry seed oil. Um, and it's just, uh, there's three shades you can get the clear. I think that there's a terracotta and I think there's a rose. I stuck this time to the clear. It is fantastic. Floods my lips with moisture. It is brilliant. I, no, I bought that from the website. No, I didn't. I bought this from Superdrug. Uh, because I'd already researched it to buy on the website and I saw it was in stock in my local super jug. But when I was in super jug, oh my God, look at this, guys. Look at this lip gloss. How could I turn this down? And it's a beautiful, like, kind of mid mauve, not even purple. Let's see if I can do a swatch, but I don't think I have a tissue near me. Do I have a tissue near me? Yes, I do. I come prepared, guys. I come prepared. Okay. So this, it looks extreme in the case, I know it does, but that swirl of nearly purple and black is so cool. But it, oh, this ring light makes everything seem so much brighter. No, it still looks clear. <laughs> I wish I could show you, but it is just a slightly, there we go. It's... A lovely kind of deep it's a clear gloss but with a, a little bit of a dark uh mauve tint to it i love it i love it and it's got really good stuff in there as well it's a cer cer ceramide lips lip swirl it's called and it's great it's very oh, revolution is just fantastic i bought a little mini makeup setting spray three pounds it was in the easter sale i think it's back up to six pound i know it's a mini it's a mini bottle size or sorry uh, many like it's nearly like a travel size this is from the friends collection and i have the racial lipstick that i bought uh, months ago which i love it's kind of the same shade as drew barrymore wore in the opening scene of scream uh, i love that lipstick um i bought it i bought phoebe because uh it was i think one was rachel was a strawberry scent uh, monica was out of stock and i think this was like a citrus smell which i like better and it has hyaluronic acid and vitamin c in it and it sets your makeup and i wore it put it on first thing this morning and it looks fantastic my makeup is not shifted uh i know i'm going on here just very very quickly the last thing i want to show you this is so good uh for eyeshadow primer i hadn't even heard of such a thing but i was so annoyed that like i wear a lot of gel uh eyeshadow with glitter and it would crease by the end of the day i 
did my research uh, online and I found this the very last one in Boots and it's by Wet n Wild and it is called the Eye uh, Photo Focus Eye Eye Shadow Primer. Now apparently a good tip is you can use existing concealer for your eyes if you it kind of apparently it does the same sort of job as eyeshadow primer but because my with sensitive skin I wanted to be safe and I bought this and I think it was five points five points ninety six points or something like that and it, it was brilliant so all the reviews were just glowing about this so wet and wild photo focus eyeshadow primer and I put my eyeshadow on this morning and I can't see any creases even though I'm trying to kind of <laughs> check but ever since I use this it goes on kind of it nearly comes on like a concealer shade and then it dries clear and it dries so quickly and I've loved it since so sorry I know this is not a revolution uh makeup video but I just had everything here because it holds my Gucci balm I keep this in a slip pocket in my handbag and I just wanted to give you an update there but the lip glow far exceeds the nourishing balm. Sorry Gucci but I love your packaging and thank you for the free gifts. 